I think one of the problems of many people, and I am not saying I am perfect because I am not, but I think one of the many problems of people when they choose to live for God, I think some people are so impatient. I think some people expect God to answer their prayers like that. Like, how can I say it? I think some people are looking for an immediate response, which we should all want that, but I think some people have a negative reaction if there is no immediate response to their prayers. Some of my prayers, yes, I believe they get answered quickly. And some other of my prayers, it may seem like it takes a while for them to be answered. Why is that? I have no idea. I think some people may love God and want to do his will. Let me say this. I think if you are going to live for God, I think you are going to be tested. Honestly, I think it is just a matter of time. You may be placed in a situation to where you have prayed to God many times about it and it may seem like God is not hearing you or listening to you. Like it may feel like God hasn't really give you, given you the type of response that you expect. Okay. It may feel like if you are trying to do things right, it may feel like nothing is working. So something may come to your mind. Hey, since you are going through this problem or since you are in this problem, hey, you might as well go back to sin, do things in the way you used to do, in the sinful way, to solve this problem. Okay. If you are in a problem, if you sin to try to get out of that problem, what is going to happen? I think long term, it is going to cause more problems because aren't we going to reap what we sow? If I obtain a mentality to do what is wrong to get out of problems, what do you believe is going to happen? I believe more problems will come to me for doing wrong. So what should I do? Perhaps I should pray fast, read the Bible. Ultimately, yes, um, follow God's rules, but ultimately as well, maybe not ultimately, but one of the main things I believe I should do is wait on God. I think so many people are so impatient. I think some people believe, now, I think we should expect an immediate response to prayer. But I think some people have a very negative reaction 
if they don't receive an immediate response to some of their prayers. Some of my prayers, I believe they get answered quickly and some of my prayers, it may seem like to me, it may seem like they take a while to get answered. Why? I don't know. Look now, if you are going through something and if it seems like God is not answering your prayers quickly, wait. Wait on God. Don't do something bad to get out of the problem you are in now because what is that going to do for you? I believe it is going to give you more problems. Hey, I am out of money, so I should prostitute myself. I should sell drugs. I should cheat someone. I should steal, kill, or whatever. Why be in this roller coaster going round and round, getting stuck in the same spot, like you come to Jesus Christ, you serve him, you serve him, you serve him, but once you get tested or encounter a situation you almost always go through, it's like you get caught there and fall back then fall back, then you strive forward, strive forward, then you get to that same point, I guess I can say, then fall back. Stop. Stop falling back. Even if it takes a week, two weeks, three weeks, one year, two years, wait on God, pray to God, God, I am in a problem and I don't know what to do. So I am asking you to please show me a way out of this problem. Please show me a way to whatever. God, I can't pay my rent or whatever else. Please help me. Please show me what I should do. Please blah, 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 blah. Please show me a way. Then you wait. You don't have to do evil to get out of a problem. Stop going back and forth to God. Be stable. I know this may seem easier said than done, but look. You have to learn to wait. Stop being so impatient. God may not answer all of your prayers quickly. So if God doesn't give you a response to your prayers in one year, are you telling me you are going to turn your back against him? Back in my past, I did not know as much as I know now. For I think years, for years I would try to live for God, then go back to sin, go back to sin, try to live for God, then go back to sin, go back to sin. So it was like this back and forth thing over and over and over, back and forth, back and forth, trying to live for God, then going back, trying to live for God, then going back. Look now, as a Christian, you are going to have to go through some pain. Now, <laughs> I don't like pain. I don't like going through problems. But as a Christian, 
you are going to go through some uncomfortable situations. So if you have the mind or the thinking that, hey, I live for Christ now, and for some reason, I believe I should not go through any more problems. My life on earth should be perfect now, and I should not get persecuted or whatever else. I think if you have that mind frame, I believe you are setting yourself, yourself up for failure. Look now. If you are in a bad situation, situation, wait on God. Wait. Sometimes I get into situations myself and sometimes I don't know what to do. So what I do, I pray about it and I wait. I may pray about it each day until I get the answer. What you don't want to do is panic. What's going on? What am I going to do? I am panicking. You don't want to get there then do things you will regret. So learn to wait. Now, a person may say waiting is easy, but for some, waiting may be very difficult. You don't have to go back to your old sinful way of life to solve problems. You know, back in my past more, I think, there were many times where I used to do bad things. So many times, thoughts of, there was something that happened and I was in a very, very big problem. And something came to my mind I should go back to my old sinful ways to solve some of my problems. Now imagine if I were to do that. Short term, yes, that may have, that probably would have fixed some of my problems. But long term, I believe so many more problems would have came to me. So don't look so much about short term, I guess I can say, but look at if you are able, try to look at the overall view. Going back to sin is never, never, never a good idea. Never. Yes, we may mess up. We may fail. We may sin. But what I am trying to say, have your mind set to, hey, this is what I want to do. Like, yes, it is wrong, but this is the life I accept. Yes, even though it is wrong, but this is the life I accept and want to do. Don't be that way. Let me stop here. God bless you.